What's up, guys? They got them. <laughs> oh, you guys thought they got me already. Is there still plastic in the ocean? Yes. Well, then that means they didn't get me yet. That's point blank, period. I always tell people that if you want to know if I'm still around, just go look in the ocean and see if there's still plastic there. Because I got a mission. So, uh, let me, I'm just getting started on everything else here. And we're going to get started quickly because I already have plastic in the chamber. What's up, G Nation? What's up, the fish and wildlife? What's up, Nicolo? All right, we good. We good. Cool. Cool. All right. <clears throat> live on Facebook, too. Let's go live on Instagram. Twitch. So, okay, guys. Let me tell you what I've done. Actually, give me one second. Give me one second. I'll tell you what I've done. Okay. Just give me a second here. Get started and everything. Thank you for the, uh, the $1, Andre, on YouTube. I appreciate you, man. All right, let's go live on Instagram. We'll get started. All right. Power on. All right, guys. So, today, we already have plastic in the chamber. I already have the vacuum pulled. The yoga ball's already been sucked dry. So, all I have to do at this point is just turn it on. Hey, much love to Pakistan. Glad to have your support. Guys, we're on Twitch as well. We're on YouTube and Twitch as well. Anybody that want to join in over there. So, <clears throat> all we got to do is turn this thing on. Like I said, plastic's already in. Let me tell you guys what's different, though, before we get started. Thank you for the badge, Punk Ozzy. Man, you're always getting badges. Much love to you. Let me tell you what's different. I added another magnetron, okay? But I can only run up to six at once. We now have two magnetrons in the middle, two at the end, and three in the beginning. We're going to be running two, two, two. Two in the beginning, two in the middle, two at the end. And we're going to see if that will get just the whole general chamber hot enough to hopefully give us oil. But you guys know, the at this point, <laughs> by this time, you guys already know the game. Even if we don't get oil, we're definitely going to get natural gas. You see the yoga ball right by my side here. This thing is going to start filling up pretty quick. Chambers are already full of plastic. So enough talk. Let's go ahead, turn it on, because then we can talk while we're waiting for it to really get heated up. All right, it's on six magnetrons going on to this thing. Right now, this machine has more power than any of my past machines, the most I've ever run before in all of reality, before this machine, was five magnetrons at once, and that scared the absolute piss out of me, so I only did it once. Uh, one store, thank you for the badge on Instagram. I appreciate you, man. You said, what do you use the natural gas for? Anything that's flammable, okay? So... Whether that's cooking, that could be a generator, that could be a car that runs off of natural gas, anything that requires a flame, this natural gas can be used for. So actually, 
Yoga ball is starting to fill up already. Uh, thank you for the 99 cents on uh, YouTube, Reese Gilman. I appreciate you. Reese Gilbert, I appreciate you, man. Much love and support to you. Guys, we're on Twitch and YouTube as well. Quality is the best on YouTube, actually. What's up, one, two, three? <laughs> so, I mean, look, guys. Honestly, honestly, since I can only run six, if this doesn't make us oil, the only other thing I can do is wait until I get my other Transformers, I would think. Phil, thank you for the badge on Instagram. David Rowe, thank you for the $5 donation on the cash app. I appreciate you, David Rowe. Thank you guys so much for the donations and the love. Got this thing running nice and early this stream, don't we? We ain't wasting no time in here. Said, have I stored the gas in tanks? No, I still have my yoga ball full of gas. Um, and that's the thing, right? I do have to get that compressor soon to compress it into tanks. Thank you for the one dollar ninety nine cent donation on YouTube, uh, Reese Gilbert. You said, I don't know why it went down to ninety nine cents. It's all right, man. Look, I appreciate it nonetheless. Any and all amounts. You said, how many watts are we drawing right now? We'll be drawing probably if you include all the fans and the pumps. I got everything on, right? Yeah. We're probably drawing just under 7,000 watts. Gavin, thank you for the, the, the badge on Instagram. So this thing is consuming probably as much electricity as a very high power clothes dryer, okay? So it's definitely not for the lighthearted. See if we got some heat. Let's see if we got some heat building up in here. We do got heat. This is the first run that's 2-2-2. Two, two, two. So evenly spread out heat for the first time ever. Thank you for the badge. LA City Boy, I appreciate you, man, on Instagram. What's up, Horza Cody? My boy, what's up? Phil, thank you for another badge on Instagram. You're doing better. Hey, I'm glad to hear that, man. I'm glad to hear that we all deserve to be in our best and our most efficient state. So I'm glad to hear that you're doing better, man. Much love to you, brother. I can't wait for that oil either. Hey, much love to Kenya, man, on YouTube. 6,900 watts, probably. Where do you ha receive the most percent of money we're donating? Um, I would say I get the most from Cash App because they take the least amount of fees out. So how did you come up with this idea? I didn't come up with the idea of turning plastic waste into fuel. Uh, it's been done for a while. What I've done is I have innovated a design that uses microwaves that could be done in the backyard. And that's something that has not been seen before using microwaves to turn plastic into fuel at a backyard scale. It's always either be done, been done at lab scales or bigger pilot scales, right? But it's not been done at a super small scale like this, like in a backyard, and it also has not been done super industrially, super large. I'm looking to be the first to do both of those, and so far I am the first to do it in the backyard like this. I want to be the first to do huge industrial microwave pyrolysis continuous operating reactor. Okay, so it's looking good because this reactor, uh, that's the goal. We want this to be continuous. And, we, and if this design proves to work, all we got to do is just make everything bigger and more powerful and then scale it up. What's up, 99C? 999LC. Guys, you can see the yoga balls filling up. Um, it's filling up for sure. I'll, I'll look, it was flat, completely dry. Look at it now. Got some bounce to it. Yoga balls filling up. We love to see it. So we in, are indeed getting the plastic to crack under the temperatures of the microwaves at this point in time. Yes, indeed, the view glass is becoming foggy. You can actually see it from where you are. It's pretty much white um, <laughs> at this point. <clears throat> Thank you for the $5, Jesse Noble, on YouTube. I appreciate you, Jesse Noble. Uh, did I miss a super chat? I think I missed one. Hold up, I'm gonna make sure I didn't miss any super chats here. I did. I did miss one. 
No, I didn't. I didn't. Reese Gilbert. Thank you again, Reese Gilbert. I did miss one from Andre. No, Andre. We got Andre. Okay. I just want to make sure. I like to make sure I, I, I thank everybody because I do truly appreciate you guys. Because once again, you guys make this possible. Seriously. Well, I would not be where I am right now if it weren't for you guys and your support, your donations. This thing has been 100% crowdfunded. I'm happy to say it. We the people are making our own steps towards dealing with plastic waste because these companies haven't done it. The government hasn't done it. So we as the people are coming together and doing it our damn selves. You said, what about radiation? Well, here's the thing about microwave radiation. Microwave radiation is non-ionizing. What does that mean? That means that the radiation does not cause cell or DNA damage, which means that the radiation from microwaves does not cause cancer. Why did my, my Twitch streams just get shut down? What the heck? You know what's going on with that crap? Going back to what I was saying, non-ionizing radiation does not cause cancer. The only thing that microwave radiation does is heat things up. Microwave radiation is pretty much infrared. It just heats things up. Thank you, uh, Georgie, for the badge on the Instagram. I appreciate you. So it poses no risk to me. And if there was some type of leak, I would sure feel it because it would heat me up, right? Um, so, there's no issue with radiation. Also, microwaves reflect off of metals. They cannot go through metals. So you see this chamber, it's 100% metal. Everything on here is metal. So once the microwaves go in, they stay in. And as soon as we turn off the power, the microwaves go away as well. They don't linger around. So this is not the same as nuclear radiation at all. Okay, so for some reason, Twitch shut down my live stream and I can't go live again for some reason. I don't know what's going on there. Who cares, right? It's reliable in other places. Always something to be grateful for, right? Always something to be grateful for. And I'm grateful to be right here right now where we're able to successfully run this machine live over and over again safely. No explosions, no fires. It's a blessing every day. Because believe me you, there are so many types of engineering that go into this that there's pretty much infinite things that can go wrong. Murphy's Law doesn't even need to look at this reactor for something to go wrong. We got mechanical engineering, chemical engineering, we got material sciences because I got to make materials or utilize materials that are dielectric for the microwaves. We got, of course, metallurgy with the whole welding side of things. We got electrical engineering. And what else do we got? I'm sure there's more. There's a ton of different things coming together. So many different disciplines come together for this machine. So, like I say, it's a blessing every time. Every time I turn on the machine, got to do a prayer for, for <laughs> make sure I'm safe. Because Lord knows, this thing can not only electrocute you, but it can blow up and catch on fire too at the same time. Let's see what this thing feels like now. Yoga ball is filling up quite a bit now, as you guys can see. It's definitely filling up, so definitely got vapors. Oh, the chamber is getting hot, and this is near the end. Before, we've always had issues with this end not getting hot, but it's getting hot. Like, for example, yesterday, this end didn't get hot. This whole end segment really didn't get hot uh, until near the end of the live stream. You know, I always say, you know it's hot enough. So here's the thing, guys, right? My cribs heat from the inside out. Microwaves are not really heating the metal that much. They're really heating the because that kind of lets you know. If it's like a uh, 200 on the outside, that means it's three, four, five hundred on the inside. Zach, thank you for Instagram. I appreciate you. So that's why we use microwaves for that reason there. The reason why it's always hotter on the inside than it is the outside, which is the exact opposite of almost every other form of heating that exists which is it's always hotter on the outside than the inside. So the hypothesis is that if we can have an efficient enough process, we can utilize that ability of microwaves to heat from the inside out to make a hyper-efficient machine that makes enough fuel to run itself and still some fuel on top of that. And at that point, it's a done deal. Because now you're getting paid for taking in the plastic, you're getting paid for producing fuel and carbon, and then you're not even needing to 
actually put in money to run the machine because the machine runs itself. Right? That's the hypothesis and the goal. Yep, that view glass is super foggy. The thing is, the view glass, which is down here, uh, let me let me actually touch it and show you guys, just in case you don't know where it is. When I'm when I'm talking about the view glass, right? The view glass is this right here. Now the view glass is positioned after the condensers, so that means that if we're going to get oils. We're going to see them dripping down. We have to see them dripping down. Okay, I literally cannot go live on Twitch. You keep shutting it down, whatever. We have to see the oils drip down there because there's nowhere else for the oils to go. So right now, all that we've been seeing these past many times I've been running this machine is vapor, vapor, vapor. Little droplets in there. We haven't seen actual oils coming out yet. That's what we're hoping to get today. We're on the quest for oil. Day two, okay? I see a ton of vapors coming out right now on that condenser. I'm gonna go take a close look and see if we got any oils. So, there are little droplets of oil forming inside the condenser surface. Very little droplets, but there's still droplets of oil nonetheless. And I have very good news, guys. Yesterday we were talking about, in order for us to get oil, these stainless steel pipes that come up, right? They have to be hot. So this, this, and this need to be hot for us to get oils. That's just science. That's just physics. That's thermodynamics. That's a, it's a distiller. It's only, it has to be hot. And I have great news. It's starting to get hot. Yesterday, it was not getting hot until way later in the run. So it seems like the 222 six magnetrons is actually making some good progress. Which I would hope so with this much power going in. Goodness gracious. Because well, right now, we are half the projected max power of this machine okay so unfortunately you know with that being said we have to start getting now that we're getting up to this much power consumption now we're starting to break that zone where you know we have to start making um good yields now or else this machine won't be worth running okay you said things are happening faster than yesterday? Exactly. Exactly, Atoria. So now we got to start. Now that we're getting so much power going in, we better be seeing this yoga ball fill up quicker, right? We better start to get some oils, I, I would hope. Now, the oils probably will come a little bit later today because, like I say, everything needs to heat up. I don't have it insulated. Insulation helps tons, okay? Saves a ton of energy. Matter of fact, since uh, Twitch is going out, let me, I'm going to restart the YouTube live on my other phone and it's going to, um, it's going to be better because my other phone has Ethernet on it. We're, we're going to take a look at these vapors as well. And we're going to see if these vapors. Yeah, guys, on YouTube, I'm going to restart the live stream because I, I, I'm sure it's interfering because this phone is on Wi-Fi. My other phone is on Ethernet, so it won't interfere with the microwaves, okay? So we're gonna... We're gonna restart the live stream for you guys, make it better for you, okay? See you guys in a second. 